Hong Kong is one of the most densely populated areas in the world. With land a scarce commodity, construction work has to proceed in hilly locations, which under normal circumstances would be left undeveloped. In June 1972, two major landslides at Cao Mao Ping in Kowloon and Po Shan Road on Hong Kong Island killed a total of 138 people. The Po Shan Road landslide was the most devastating in terms of loss of life and damage to property. The site of the Po Shan Road landslide is in the western mid-levels area of Hong Kong Island. The terrain here is steep and prone to landslides during heavy rainfall. Prior to the 1972 disaster, there had been a history of minor landslides, cracks and aborted construction works in the vicinity of the fateful landslide. The rainfall in June 1972 was almost twice the average and the fifth highest on record at that time. Heavy rainfall persisted throughout the day and there was a large landslide behind Hamilton Court, a building under construction nearby on Po Shan Road. In the morning, a number of small landslides were observed on Po Shan Road, which resulted in the garden of number 21 settling some two meters. Further down the slope, a building site on Conduit Road experienced a large landslide on a cut slope, and water was seen emerging from the ground above Skyline Mansion. After a heavy rainstorm at midday, conditions worsened. The garden terrace dropped another three meters. The water flowing from the ground above Skyline Mansion increased considerably, and the condition at the building site on Conduit Road deteriorated. The sheet piling installed some four months prior to the failure distorted and buckled under the weight of the debris from the earlier landslide. By the end of the day, a section of Po Shan Road had settled over four meters and a number of local residents had been evacuated as a precaution. On the morning of the fateful day, conditions were bad. But no one could have imagined what was to follow. Throughout the day, the conditions degenerated. The sheet piling continued to distort, and at 5.10 p.m., a large landslide to the east of the building site above Skyline Mansions crossed the road and partially buried the four-story building at number 11 Coatwall Road. There were no injuries at this time, and the residents were evacuated to safety. The major landslide occurred about 8.55 p.m., lasting no longer than 10 seconds. The landslide started from the hill above Po Shan Road. Debris crossed the road and engulfed the garage at number 21. This then slipped down the hillside and toppled over. The landslide gathered momentum and swept away the property at number 11 Coatwall Road before continuing on to Codewall Court. The force of the debris and landslide brought down the 12-story tower block, with the collapsing building hitting the upper part of the newly refurbished block at Greenview Gardens. The scale and speed of the catastrophe shocked everyone. In all, 67 people lost their lives, and two residential buildings and a number of other structures were obliterated. The forensic investigation concluded that three factors combined to cause the landslide. The nature of the material forming the hillside, the exceptionally intense and sustained rainfall, and the inadequately supported deep cutting in the private building site. The two disasters of the 18th of June and further serious fatal landslides in 1976 brought about radical changes to geotechnical engineering in Hong Kong. And in 1977, the government created what is today the Geotechnical Engineering Office. The Geotechnical Engineering Office continues to serve the people of Hong Kong to ensure that disasters like the Po Shan Road landslide will not occur again. <laughs>